Hello, my name is Azhar and uh, I am site owner and editor of the website childhoodreview.com. Uh, you can know more about me at the website. Be Qualitative is a major section on my website that provides short lectures on different topics in qualitative research. Uh, considering the demand for interdisciplinary qualitative research in social sciences, my website will offer you learning resources that will be helpful for the young researchers who are ambitious to learn qualitative research. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also stay updated uh, with the content on my website. Uh, thank you. Now in this first introductory lecture, we will start with uh, an, a short and precise introduction to qualitative research. Thank you. Okay, what is qualitative research? One thing that you may already know, it is not about counting and it is not about numbers. Qualitative research in particular builds abstractions and concepts. It uh, creates hypotheses and theories. Uh, so it does not mean to test existing theories. It can be exploratory, explanatory, used to develop, validate or falsify theories. And uh, overall it means that in qualitative research, we need to investigate in depth with our open-ended questions. So uh, now uh, let us see some important things that you should know uh, to learn qualitative research. If you are interested in doing qualitative research, you must know a few important aspects of the qualitative research. Qualitative research is conducted in human social world the world they live in. We construct and co-construct the meanings of our social world. And our social world is not simple. It is complex, it is sensitive, and it is multi-layered. These layers of meanings are interconnected and we need in-depth ground-up investigation to examine these connections. To understand human behavior in their social world, we need in-depth exploration to interpret and contextualize human behavior in its social world. A primary assumption of qualitative research is that knowledge is context dependent. It means that a qualitative researcher is primarily interested in W3H. So W for what is happening, W for why is it happening, W for when does it happen and H for how has it come to happen. As I said earlier that human beings construct and co-construct their social realities, it is important to know and understand their perspective, their experiences and their meanings. Hence, to get in-depth investi investigation and uh, in-depth information, a qualitative researcher must be creative and flexible. Qualitative research demands innovative ideas in investigative approaches. The flexibility and openness that qualitative research offers helps the researcher to grasp the several aspects of the data using different methods of data collection and data analysis. Okay, now we will uh, discuss something about the rich qualitative data. A rich qualitative data helps the researcher to provide a textual and structural description of the data. By textual description, I mean description of what what part of your research that is what is experienced whereas the structural description of the data gives you important information regarding the conditions 
situations and the context of the experience that is how it was experienced you cannot find the meanings of the experience unless you do not comprehend the interconnections of the textual and structural description of the experience so for a rich qualitative data uh, it should be like that you, you are able to do both ways textual and structural description of the data there are three important words uh, in this connection that you should keep asking yourself throughout the research and if you keep asking yourself these questions you are able to get the rich data and get a very fine analysis and interpretation of this that data these words are what how and why while choosing a research method ask yourself what method i am going to choose for data collection why this method seems helpful and how will i proceed with this method similarly while doing analysis and discussion remember the questions what was experienced why was it experienced or why it happened that way and how it was experienced while investigating human behaviors in their social cultural context you should know that you are going to deal with contextual sensitivity and complexity human beings cannot be neutral and even a researcher can be biased there is always a subjectivity involved in the qualitative research that must be addressed with different strategies even though objectivity is not a primary objective of qualitative research however we do have several ways to minimize researcher subjectivity that may influence the findings a qualitative research depends on the interpretations their accuracy and the logical flow and validation that should be ensured through different ways uh, that you will learn in some other lectures also keep in mind that you are interacting with your participants and they are no more anonymous and they are sharing their stories with you hence a high level of ethical considerations are required in qualitative research Okay now let us conclude what is it like to be a qualitative researcher so a qualitative researcher knows social and cultural context are complex and sensitive and there is no absolute reality we construct and co-construct over realities and the meanings are located in the social world our personal social and cultural context shape our behaviors and we are not neutral at all and the focus of on process and phenomena is more important than the focus on outcomes once you understand the process of phenomena outcomes can be explained so these are a few points um, you are also seeing um, on the screen that a qualitative researcher must know before proceeding towards qualitative research and uh, as now uh, you uh, are a qualitative researcher uh, for example um, then you must know that you must have a training prior to conduct a qualitative research project so knowledge is not all training is a must again you are going to interact with the people and with the things and with the settings and in the environments so there must you must have a training then you must know how to bracket your pre assumptions so bracketing is a technique that we will learn in some other lecture but you you must know that you are you you have biases and you may have pre assumptions and you need to bracket those pre assumptions and very important that you should know that you know nothing and that is that is the key point uh, especially doing qualitative research you should know about what you don't know and you should know that you you know nothing and then you will be able to uh, get the participants perspective uh then don't take things for granted i mean uh, don't get uh, biased by your own views or your own uh, cultural beings uh, and so don't take things for granted 
things happen for reason and there should be a process of phenomena that need to be explored. You should also uh, be skillful in building rapport. I mean, why someone will tell you a story if uh, that person is not, um, you, do, you don't have a trust relationship with that person. So you should know uh, before conducting an interview or conducting a focus group that how to build rapport. You should also be able to see the unseen, to hear the unheard. So whatever is being told in the interview is not all. So there is so much um, invisible maybe that you need to see and you must hear something that is unheard. And definitely for all these things you need patience and temperament. If you don't have patience and temperament, uh, I would advise you not to go for the qualitative research because it, it requires a lot of patience and temperament. Uh, things just not come to you and uh, there is no uh, kind of SPSS tool that you can use to know everything objectively. So you need to have patience and temperament um, and especially you are dealing with the people. Um, and also important is to maintaining ethical standards as I told earlier that uh, there is no way that your participant is anonymous. You are talking to them. Uh, you know them, so there is no way that they are anonymous. So you need high moral values to conduct qualitative research. And you must know uh, the protocols and the ethical standards before conducting a qualitative research. As uh, uh, you are going to investigate in depth, you should have an ability to extensively engage in the research process. So till the beginning from the beginning till the end, you yourself as a research instrument. So researcher is, uh, um, I mean, it is, you are as a qualitative researcher, you will always be engaged with your research process. Uh, right from the, the day when you thought about a topic and the day when you concluded in your research. Okay, thank you. That's all for now. So uh, this was a brief and precise introduction to qualitative research. And of course, you will learn much more in my other videos. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, B-Qualitative. And uh, you can also stay connected on my website, childhoodreview.com. Thank you.